Hi, my name is Owen Medham with the Cisco WebEx TAC team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to understand and set up multi-IDP routing rules for SSO. For this guide, I'm going to have two identity providers configured and want to set up a configuration to allow users in two WebEx groups to use WebEx basic authentication, and then the rest of my users will use Azure AD for their identity provider. You might want to do this if you have multiple companies in the same WebEx organization, or if you want to have a backup login method in case you lose access to your other IDP. Here, you can see I have my first IDP, Azure, already set up and deployed. Here, I want to deploy a second IDP for my WebEx groups so that I have an additional way for those users to sign in. Click Add an IDP. Here, you'll be presented with three IDP types. Since I want to add WebEx as an IDP, I'm going to select WebEx, and then click Next. Here, I'm going to be presented with some information on how WebEx as an IDP works and what some of the requirements of the password will be. Check I've read and understood how WebEx IDP works once you finish reading this information and select Next. Here, it's asking me to configure a rule for this IDP. When adding new IDPs, you will always be asked to add a routing rule for each IDP you set up. You can enter in the name of your WebEx IDP routing rule without spaces. I'm going to choose to route based on groups and select my WebEx authentication group. Once done with the configurations, I'll select Add. Once done, you'll see two messages appear in the bottom right corner stating that the SSO configuration is updated as we added WebEx as an IDP and that we added the Use WebEx Authentication routing rule to our routing list. To view our current routing rules, we can click the Routing Rules tab and now we can see what we have configured currently. Here. I'm going to add a third routing rule to my list here by clicking Add a new routing rule. Here, I'm going to call it a backup-login rule and use my backup login group configured in WebEx. I'm going to select in the dropdown to use WebEx as my identity provider. Select Save once you've finished your rule configurations. Here, you'll see that the rule was created, however, is not activated yet. We can select Active to turn on this routing rule. Now, routing rules work in the order of top-down. So if a user meets the criteria for routing rule 1, we will use that rule. If the user does not meet that criteria for routing rule 1, but does meet the criteria for routing rule 2, they will use the second routing rule. A user can only match one group and will be sent to the first rule that they meet the requirements for. Let's say I want to swap around rule 1 and rule 2. We can do that by grabbing the dots beside the rule number and dragging it up or down to the order that you want. Once done, you should have the rules configured in the order that you want and you're all set with the routing rules. Thank you for watching.